Yet another study shows how fast AI is being adopted, but this time in schools. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Professor Ethan Mollick recently tweeted, I find all of the giant debates here over whether AI is useful or not completely disconnected from the surveys, showing that AI is one of the most rapidly adopted technologies in history, and people who use it keep using. I was skeptical about the first surveys, but now there are many. If you are a regular here at the AI Daily Brief, you will have heard me beating this drum quite a bit. That I think that the vast majority of the AI is overhyped type of coverage is driven by the need for a new story and a new narrative in media versus any reality. The other explanation that I've often given is a misunderstanding of how AI adoption is already happening. Specifically the fact that it is not entire categories of jobs being wiped off the earth all at once, but instead people who are finding really simple but significant ways to save themselves 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes at a time here and there, but over and over again. Certainly if you watched Apple's presentation earlier this week, you got the sense that they believe that the way AI will come to the masses is through those simple day-to-day -day uses. But by way of example, Ethan points to a couple of surveys. One is that recent LinkedIn Microsoft survey that found that 75% of knowledge workers are already using AI at work. And as an aside, 78% of them are smuggling that AI in and not telling their bosses for fear of being told they're not allowed to use it anymore. But the new study and the focus of what we are looking at today is that, to the surprise of probably no one, as CNBC puts it, AI is getting very popular among students and teachers very quickly. The study in question came from the Walton Family Foundation. The foundation writes, in 2023, the Walton Family Foundation commissioned the first national survey of teacher and student attitudes towards ChatGPT. The findings showed that educators and students embrace innovation and are optimistic that AI can meaningfully support traditional instruction. A new survey conducted May 7th to 15th, 2024, showed that knowledge of and support for AI in education is growing among parents, students, and teachers. More than 80% of each group says it has a positive impact on education. So a couple things to note about this. This is not some random survey. It's a very well-known and respected foundation working with impact research, and the interviews are really recent. These are about as up-to-date as you're going to get from a survey. We'll talk about the Walton Family Foundation's findings at the end, but let's look at the numbers first. One standout is that the percentage of people who have heard of ChatGPT has grown significantly. Last year, 25% of teachers and 34% of students had never heard of it, whereas now that number is almost negligible. Overall, three quarters say that they are either somewhat or very familiar with the technology. And what's more, it's more than just familiarity. Across teachers, K-12 students, undergrads, and parents, Almost 50% are using ChatGPT at least weekly, both inside and outside of school. Interestingly, it's the parents that are using it most, suggesting there is overlap between parental usage at work and student usage in school. There has been a 26-point increase in the number of K-12 students using ChatGPT weekly since last year. From a demographics perspective, the numbers are pretty concentrated, although the foundation notes that male, black, younger, and urban teachers use AI most personally and at work. 86% of black teachers used AI chatbots for work, compared to 71% of white teachers and 69% of Hispanic teachers. That said, Hispanic students are some of the top users of AI, with 85% using AI chatbots personally and 77% having used AI chatbots for school. When it comes to how confident they are in their use of AI, by and large everyone is fairly confident, but the least confident groups are older parents and teachers. The study found that a majority of people have favorable attitudes towards AI chatbots, but that while K-12 students are much more supportive than they were last year, teachers are actually a little bit less supportive than they were. A far greater percentage of teachers, students, and parents say that AI chatbots have had a positive impact on their users versus a negative impact, with those who have actually used AI having a dramatically higher opinion of it than those who haven't, and everyone expects to be using AI more over the next five years. When it comes to overall attitudes, despite the fact that they are using these technologies, there's definitely some anxiety about their potential impact on the workplace. When asked whether they were more concerned with America pushing too far too fast on AI, killing jobs and putting people out of work, or America falling behind on AI, not maintaining a competitive edge with other nations, basically every group was more concerned about killing jobs than competitive edge, with undergraduates probably surveying a job landscape the most concerned about that. I will note that the construction of this question I think could be a little misleading. They asked which of the following are you more concerned about, not how concerned you were. One of the ways to take that question is which do you think is more likely? In other words, one might be concerned about both equally in a general sense, but think that it's more likely that America goes too far too fast than it is that it falls behind. 
Point being that this is just a little reminder to never take survey results at too much of face value. Maybe the biggest banner headline that stands out is this one. When asked whether the use of AI in education has had a positive impact or a negative impact, the differential is wild. Teachers say it's positive versus negative by 81 to 14. K-12 students have it positive at 89 to 4. Undergraduates put the positive impact at 94 compared to just 4 with a negative impact. And even parents, who are right now struggling to deal with the implications of other technologies like social media, have AI having a positive impact on education at 84 versus just 11 for a negative impact. Teachers, K-12 students, and parents all think that AI chatbots will have legitimate educational use cases, whereas interestingly, undergraduates are more likely to think that they will be used by students to cheat. Unsurprisingly, all of these groups think that students need to stay on top of AI. Each of these groups thinks that AI chatbots should be allowed for schoolwork, with less than a fifth in each category, suggesting it should be restricted or banned. And the older students get, the more likely teachers are to think that they should be encouraging chatbot use. This one I think is pretty common sense. You still want kids to have the fundamentals and you don't necessarily want to replace that with AI, but the deeper you get on having the fundamentals, the more you can build on it with what AI can offer. Student use of ChatGPT without teacher permission is on the rise. And that's probably because most K-12 schools do not have an AI policy. So once again, we're in a smuggling situation. When it comes to how teachers have used AI in the classroom, helping with creative ideas, lesson planning, creating worksheets or examples, creating quizzes, all are some of the top uses. One that's a little nerve-wracking is detecting students' attempts to cheat or plagiarize, which of course we know that AI is not actually able to do. When it comes to the specific impact of AI, it appears to be all about efficiency and productivity. And the more the people use it, the more convinced they are that it's good. When it comes to training, a majority of teachers haven't received training, but they would like to. Overall, 25% of teachers have received training, 17% haven't and would not like to, but 56% haven't but would like to. But these sort of numbers can get really long, especially if you've been listening rather than watching this episode. And so I'll end there and I'll just say this. The rampant optimism on display among all of these groups, not just the students themselves, but from teachers and parents, is so at odds with what some of these media narratives would suggest. It doesn't surprise me at all that the more the people actually use these tools, the more positive their opinion gets. And I hope that this type of usage becomes a leading indicator for AI adoption more broadly. Really interesting stuff. Great job to the Walton Family Foundation for commissioning this study. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Until next time, peace.